Good day, dear students. Before we lead off to our discussion, I just hope each one of you are all okay and please stay safe. May the current situation encourage you more to learn and always make time to study. So basically, our agenda for today is to discuss some topics to review and to refresh our minds. I'm looking forward to help each one of you for your upcoming entrance exams. Today, our main goal is to enhance ourselves to some important topics in math. We'll be focusing on number proficiency, algebra, and statistics. So let's begin. Okay, so here are some questions that you might encounter during your entrance exams. Given number 1, solve for square root of x plus 3 is equal to 9. A, x is equal to 36. B, x is equal to 42. C, x is equal to 32. And letter D, x is equal to 27. So you may post the video if you'd like to give it a try. Okay, so in order for us to solve for this equation, we have to recall how to solve radical equation. So again po, kapag po sinabi natin radical equation, ito po yung equation na nagko-contains po ng radical symbols. So pwede po tayong maka-encounter ng square root, cube root, fourth root, and so on. So ito po yung solution natin. So again po, meron po tayong given na square root of x plus 3 is equal to 9. So whenever you are asked to solve for a radical equation, you have to isolate the variable, which is the x in this given. So the first step that we must do is, we have to transpose positive 3 to the right side of our equation. By doing so, magkaroon po tayo ng square root of x is equal to 9 minus 3. Solve lang po natin, will give us square root of x is equal to 6. So now, to cancel out naman po yung radical symbol natin, we have to square yung both sides po natin. By doing so, makancel out na po yung radical symbol natin, that will leave us to x is equal to 36. So therefore, the correct answer is letter A. Okay, number 2. Okay, number 2, solve for square root of x plus 7 is equal to 4. A. 49, B, 18, C, 16, and letter D, 11. Okay, given number 2 po natin, meron po ulit tayong radical equation. So again po, meron po tayong given na square root of x plus 7 is equal to 4. But as you notice po, yung expression na x and yung positive 7 po is parehong nasa loob po ng radical symbol. When that happens, hindi po agad natin pwedeng i-transpose yung positive 7 sa right side po. So the first we need to get rid of is yung radical symbol po. And again, to do that, we have to square yung both sides po nila. Okay, square po natin yung both sides. That will give us to square root of x plus 7 squared is equal to 4 squared. So, since in squared na po natin yung both sides, makakancel out na po yung square root natin. That will leave us to x plus 7 is equal to 16. Again pa we have to isolate yung variable natin, which is the x in this given. So, we need to transpose positive 7 to the right side of our equation. By doing so, magkaroon po tayo ng x is equal to 16 minus 7. So, 16 minus 7 will give us x is equal to 9. So therefore, the correct answer is letter C. Okay, given number 3, solve for x is equal to square root of x plus 5 plus 1. Letter A, 3 and 2. Negative 2 rather. Letter B, negative 4 and 1. Letter C, 4 and negative 1. And letter D, negative 2. 3 and negative 2. So, given number 3 po natin, naka-encounter po ulit tayo ng radical equation. So, again po, meron po tayong given na x is equal to square root of x plus 5 plus 1. So, as you observe po, meron po tayong two variables. So, again po, same procedure lang po tayo wherein kailangan po natin i-isolate yung 
variable natin which is yung x. Pero nga po, since dalawa po yung variable natin, ang kailangan po natin i-isolate is yung variable na nasa loob po ng radical symbol natin. So, we do, so the first step that we must do is we have to transpose positive 1 to the left side of our equation. That will give us x minus 1 is equal to square root of x plus 5. Ngayon po, transpose tam po natin yung positive 1 natin sa left side po ng equation natin. So right after that, kailangan na po natin i- We have to get rid of the radical symbol natin sa right side po. So to do that, we have to square both sides. So by squaring both sides, magkaroon po tayo ng x minus 1 squared is equal to x plus 5 na lang po. Kasi nga po, nag-square po tayo ng both sides. Kaya po, natanggal na po yung radical symbol natin. So, since po, meron po tayong x minus 1 squared, kailangan po natin siyang i-expand. So, pwede po natin siyang gamitan ng FOIL method or pwede nyo lang din po siyang i-multiply by itself. So, x minus 1 times x minus 1 will give us x squared minus 2x plus 1 is equal to x plus 5. So, again po, ang ginawa lang po natin dun is minultiply lang po natin sa sarili yung x minus 1. Or, pwede nyo pa po siyang gamitan ng FOIL method. So, again po, meron po tayong x squared minus 2x plus 1 is equal to x plus 5. Combine lang po natin yung like terms. So, yung 1 po, yung positive 1 po sa left side, nilipat na po natin po sa right side. And then, yung x naman po sa yung x naman po, is nilipat naman po natin dito sa left side. Kaya po nagkaroon na po tayo ng x squared minus 2x minus x is equal to 5. Solve lang po. x squared minus 3x minus 4. Kasi po, negative 2x minus x will give us negative 3x is equal to 5 minus 1 po will give us 4. So, transpose lang po natin yung 4. Kaya po naging negative 4 na po. So, equate po natin siya sa 0. So, x squared minus 3x minus 4 is equal to 0. So, if factor po natin yung quadratics po natin. So, x minus 4 and x plus 1. So, yan po yung factor ng x squared minus 3x minus 4. So, pinaghiwalay lang po natin. So, last step po natin is solve for x. So, x is equal to 4 and x is equal to negative 1. So therefore, the correct answer is letter C. Okay, given number 4. f of x is equal to x raised to 4 minus 3x squared plus 2x minus 1. So f of 2 equals a1, letter b23, letter c33, and letter d7. So sa so given number 4 po natin, Meron po ulit tayong given na f of x is equal to x raised to 4 minus 3x squared plus 2x minus 1. Again po, we are asked to evaluate yung function po. So, f of 2 po. So, kailangan po natin set yung x po natin as 2 po. So, basically, um, sa substitute lang po natin yung 2 sa x natin. So, pinatan lang po natin ng 2 yung mga x natin. Yan po. So, solve lang po. Simplify po natin. So, 2 raised to 4 will give us 16. 3. Ah, ito po muna. So, so 2, raised to, 2 raised to 2 will give us 4. So, 4 times 3 will give us negative 12. Plus, 2 times 2 will give us 4. And copy lang po yung negative 1. So, 16 minus 12 will, will give us 4. And 4 minus 1 will give us 3. So, 4 plus 3 will give us 7. So, therefore, the correct answer is letter D. 7 po. Okay, so given number 5. Find the slope of the line passing through the points, negative 2 and 3, and 1 and 4. Letter A, M is equal to 1 half. Letter B, M is equal to 1 third. Letter C, M is equal to 3. And letter D, m is equal to negative 2. 
Okay, so in order for us to solve for the problem, we have to recall the slope formula, which is m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Again po, meron po tayong given na ordered pairs na negative 2 and 3 and 1 and 4. So, kailangan po natin iset yung negative 2 natin as x sub 1, yung 3 naman po natin as y sub 1, yung 1 as x sub 2, and yung 4 naman po as y sub 2. So, given the formula, kailangan lang po natin i-substitute yung given ordered pairs natin. So, by doing so, magkaroon po tayo ng m is equal to 4 minus 3 over 1 minus negative 2. So, simplify po natin or isolve po natin. 4 minus 3 will give us 1. So, denominator naman po is 1 minus negative 2 will give us positive 3. So, therefore, the correct answer is letter B.